you know, we're just chilling on a bunk bed. So before I went on the Squid Game, that was the part that terrified me the most. They are going to, they're going to, um, kill someone. It was the fried rice with the egg on top. I'm not leaving my people. Let's jump back into it then. So, um, blah, 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 blah. All right. <laughs> so what were your, like, what was it like being in the dorm for you? What was like your first impression of the dorm? What was it like your day-to-day, -day, like, kind of mental well-being in the dorms? What was that like for you? Um, um, I think it was, I think it, it can be summarized in saying that the hardest thing was not knowing what's going to happen moment to moment. Yeah. So like, yeah, it, like if you look at the footage, it might just look like, you know, we're just chilling on a bunk bed. But, <laughs> I mean, it's true. Yeah. We were just chilling on Having a slumber party, hanging out. Which is kind of true, like, you could see it that way, but, like, yeah. at any moment, like, even when we were sleeping, we didn't know mm. if we were going to be eliminated mm. or if they were just going to turn the lights on and tell us to go somewhere. Yeah. Or, like, we would be placed on a bus and they wouldn't tell us where we're going. Yeah. They wouldn't tell us how long the ride is. Yeah. So just having your own well-being and having yourself your own life completely out of your control. Yeah. That's not a situation that I've been in. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, like, I think to touch on, like, you know, the having the lights happen in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. So before I went on the Squid Game, that was the part that terrified me the most was the heights and then being in the dorm with everybody else. Yeah. Like, I did not want to do that. I did not want that at all. I was not about really? that life. Yeah, I didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. But um, it ended up being like the glue that glued us all together. Yeah. But um, I remember after I read like green light, I was on the bus next to Chad. Yeah. And we were talking about like strategizing going to the dorms. And mm -hmm. I, you know, I was fixated on the idea that the show would mimic the Korean drama. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I was like, mate, dude, if there's like a nighttime melee or something, we gotta be ready for that. Absolutely. Like you know, I'm choosing. I was talking to Bridget later on. I was like, yo, I'm choosing. The, I'm choosing the bed on the bottom in the corner. So like, if something happens, I can hide my people under the bed. Like I can be ready for some. And I like, think that, like, people expected that, too. Like, yeah. I don't remember if you remember that particular night. Yeah. But, like, do you don't you want to talk about it? No. When they were going to hand out the Vaseline. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> they, they they made an announcement, like, everyone, please go to bed. And, yeah. like, they never pushed us to go to bed that much Oh, that's before. right, yeah. So, like, there was a rumor going around where they're, like, oh, they are going to, they're going to, um, kill someone yeah in the night yeah and so like i went to sleep with my jacket because my jacket has my number on it yeah. and there was like also a rumor that like if your number is ripped off you're yeah. eliminated i think i started that rumor you started that rumor? <laughs> I was like, what if they rip off our numbers yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so because i think that was actually in the contract yeah at some point so just that kind of anxiety of like should i go to sleep is it safe yeah, to go to sleep right dude. now it's like um, you're in jail which is fine in, in the moment, but when you do it for a week, yeah. it wears you down yeah. so much. So like, by the end of the week, you know, I'm, mm. I'm not a crier, yeah. but that last day I was ready to go. Yeah, I was crying my ass off. I was crying for absolutely no reason, yeah. and like, if you asked me in the moment, like, I was just confused why. Yeah. Like, I'd be crying and I'd be like, wait, why the f am I crying right now? Yeah. So. No, I totally understand that. Yeah. Like, um, I remember getting to the dorms, like, you know, I was like, oh, there are dorms. And like, the first thing I did was I made sure, because at that point I still had my peoples, right? That mm. I was still building. And like, Chad chose one of the doors by the front of it. So we could yeah. see the guards coming in and out. Right. So I was like, all right, Chad. So we're going to have our quadrant on this side by mm. the bathrooms. Bridget and I stuff on the bottom by the bathrooms and the back so we get high people under our beds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then like, Haley was like a lookout in the front. She was just with us. And then we had Kial on top. Mm. There's another lookout. And then we had to, we happened to have like, you know, Joe and Trudy and like Lindsay's group and like we were all like one it's like a prison block like we were like D block we were ready yeah. in case something happened we like fortified up and be like all right you can't get in here like we would you know be a safe haven for like you know, people like you and other people right. we're like you know but like we would you know because the bros were still in the game at that mm -hmm. point the, the little bro crew so we were like we've got to be away from them yeah. and we have to have visuals so we can like you know fortify us from the bro crew because like we didn't know like they're gonna rip our numbers are they gonna tag us like what's yeah. it going to be obviously it never happened but like you were saying, like that constant state of not knowing if yep. it's safe to sleep or not knowing what it's gonna be around the corner. Yeah, it, it, like it grinds you down. 
I think it was really interesting that like, especially the first day in the dorms, like people formed such strong cliques in a sense. Yeah. Uh, which is very important because like in the show, like that was one of the most important like concepts of for, for surviving. Yeah. But when your clique is eliminated, like what the f are you gonna do? So yeah. the dynamics are constantly changing yeah. and I, I I think a lot of people did recognize after like the second game maybe like mm. we can't stick with one person you have to go out and like talk to other people because like you never know what yeah. situation you're gonna be thrown in and that's what led to my breakdown on like day mm -hmm. five I think because like um yeah the clicks kept the clicks kept changing and um like you know I think someone interviewed I think it was a mid or whatever and they were mm -hmm. like oh like have you got an alliance and I was like I don't have an alliance I have like a, like a, an emotional support mm -hmm. group yeah <laughs> you know like yeah and like obviously people after the second game whose yeah. crew got eliminated I go out and like it was like I was doing like missionary work I was like mm -hmm. hey come join my group like are you, are you alone like you can join yeah. us like I know it's lonely your people are gone so mm -hmm. I suck and like you know I was fixated once again on the fact that the show would be like pound for pound like the k-drama yeah so I and Dalgona, you know, like, you know, I made sure Kiana and I were on the same line, same, yeah. same group. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, Haley and like Chad and I were on different lines and Bridget mm -hmm. didn't make it back. So I remember thinking like, yo, what if like we have to go the next game and it's a tug of war yeah. and we don't, we can't choose who we're going to be in line with. Yeah. I've got to mentally be prepared to not be here with my people Absolutely. or to send my people home. Yeah. And that's when I start crying. I was like, yeah, I don't want to send them home. <laughs> <Or whatever. laughs> like, I just didn't want to have to go against my friends. Absolutely. But, um. But, okay, we gotta talk about the food, though. Like... <laughs> yeah, the food, honestly, was pretty brutal. Like, yeah. so I grew up, I grew up in Thailand, so, you know, I grew up eating, like, bugs and, <laughs> and all this, like, weird <laughs> that yeah. people normally wouldn't eat, plus, like, Japanese food people might consider as more, like, a quote-unquote exotic. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, you know, throw anything at me, I'll eat, I'll eat anything. Yeah. I just wasn't expecting the amount of food to be so small. Yeah. Like, I I don't eat that much, yeah. I think, but like, it's half the portion of what I would usually eat. Yeah. And I was lightheaded every day. Yeah. yeah. I feel like they consulted with nutritionists and they were like, How, what's the minimum amount of calories that humans yeah. can have? Mm -hmm. Like males and females, right. you know, anyone across the board. And they gave us that. Yeah. They're like, oh, a, a thousand? Cool. Everyone gets a thousand calories. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I remember I was talking to Bridget about this as well. And we were like, oh, like, some of the bigger guys are going to get hangry. Mm -hmm. And like, gotta be ready for that. Yeah. So like, you know, I was mentally just like, yo, something's going to go down. I like, don't think that anyone yeah. got like hangry though. They were more like, just, how do I say this? malnourished like, yeah malnourished <laughs> like low energy yeah. like just kind of sitting there kind of dazed out like mm. i i think i saw more of that than like even a state of hangry yeah same here actually i didn't yeah. mention it and like but the thing is though like, i will say this i know that they were giving us like really like bland gnarly mm -hmm. food on purpose because you know when they had the phone elimination yep like the prize was food yep and like it was Which like was yeah mm -hmm. and like they were like you know if we one way of manipulating us like to give us like you know like prison food i guess mm -hmm. that's what we'd be more susceptible to like food-based prizes yes like if it came out but like i don't like food so jokes on y'all i was having a good time <laughs> yeah like the meatballs when the meatballs came around again i was like oh, okay yeah go, all right <laughs> oh the fried <laughs> rice and the egg meatballs oh yeah. it's getting good to me yeah the yeah not having salt though that really <sighs> that was tough like it's hard to even imagine what that's like because yeah. everything has salt in it yeah but it that's, was rough i know my blood chart probably loved that my doctor probably loved it <laughs> <laughs> i didn't love it yeah. yeah but speaking of food all right so like this is i think i didn't go to the game trying to be a character mm -hmm. but one of the times i actually like really didn't care about whether or not my mic picked up what i was saying was when um 198 had to answer the phone mm -hmm. and he got the cheeseburger mm -hmm. and like everyone I, obviously 198 you know he was a character yeah. And um, he had, you know, he, he didn't have that many friends in the game because mm -hmm. of his own actions. But knowing that, but still, or in spite of knowing that, seeing people just like swarm on him and knock his food out of his hands, yeah. I was, I remember being on camera, not on camera, I was like, yo, that's f***ing feral. Yeah. Like, I, like, I didn't drop character, but I, I was like, one of the few times I was like 100%, like, just like uncut, just like, disgusting mm -hmm. like that people did that like that's not cool mm -mm -mm. like did you happen to see that episode or like that instance or like 
episode. So I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of ashamed to admit this a little bit, but like... Oh, bro, don't tell me. No, 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 it's not what you think, it's not what you think. I was actually taking a nap. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> good, 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 And I, I remember, like, because there was so much commotion, yeah. I woke up and I looked over and I saw that they brought the cheeseburger. Yeah. And I saw the swarm people and I'm like, that cheeseburger is not enough for everyone. And I went <laughs> straight back to sleep. I'm like, whatever, man. So, because we were so low on sleep yeah. as well. Like, I usually get 10 hours of sleep and we were getting, oh, like, yeah. five, maybe. Yeah, dude. So, I was like... That looks fun. All right, yeah. I'm going to sleep. It was, I was talking to Kat about that. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I was just like, dude, like, I'm so disappointed in everyone that did that. Yeah. Like, I get it, bro. Like, you're hungry or whatever. But, like, dude, have some class. It's bro. also just, like, peer pressure in a sense. Yeah. You know, it's like the first person goes for it and everyone's like, well, if he gets some, I need to get some too. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's Burger King or McDonald's, but, like, it ain't that good. No. Like, it ain't that good, bro. Like, actually, it might hinder you. Like, I remember thinking, like, I don't want that because mm -hmm. what if I get a taste for it again? Like, oh. And then I'm like, now nah, I'm stuck, you know, daydreaming about Burger King or whatever, Honestly, and like I don't have access to it. Like the food that they offered wasn't super appealing to me. Yeah. It's like a well, chocolate muffin. <laughs> who cares about a chocolate muffin? Yeah. Like chocolate muffins are so dry. Yeah, especially in the UK. Mm -hmm. The other was like pizza. Like I did want pizza. Well, that's fair. Yeah. It was like a small ass pizza. Yeah. And then there was the donut. That was the stupid shit because like. I truly did not want a donut yeah. at that moment. I don't know what I wanted, but it was probably Asian food. Oh, that ass. Yeah. Ass. Like anything Asian related? Yeah. Like when the donut thing happened, I think someone from one of my like one of my um my crew from one of my blocks got it. But I was outside getting air. Oh. So like I'd miss that whole thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, dude. Okay, what was your favorite like dorm meal though? It was the fried rice with the egg on top. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember uh, like the the egg has salt. Yeah, it's like because like, <laughs> like they can't take the the saline out of out of an egg. Yeah. So that was amazing. And then like the fried rice, it was I. It was fine. Yeah. But then like they made the fried egg crunchy, yeah. like the Asian, like Southeast Asian style, like yeah. fried egg. That was amazing. It was good. That was so good. Yeah, and I think everyone else enjoyed also the meatballs as well. The meatballs. Yeah. The meatballs are good. And like, you could tell that it was coming in cycles. So yeah, I think yeah, the day yeah. that we got eliminated, I think we had meatballs for like yeah. lunch or dinner, was it? And we yeah. were like, oh, this is our final meal. And then yeah. it was. <laughs> oh, my goodness. In fact, um, yeah, let's talk about that, bro. But uh, okay, before we talk about being eliminated, let's talk about friends and stuff too. Mm. I think we could probably name names for this, you know, because we're not talking shit, we're talking about being we friends. Name names. Yeah, like, for me, at the time I left, like, you know, I had formed a crew with, um, uh, I met Kiara day one on the mm. way to, um, Red Light Green, we were bus buddies, and, like, you know, her and I were, like, not attached at the hip, but we were, like, you know, that was, like, we were each other's most support person. Mm. And then there was Haley as well, you know, I mean, like, her and I were, like, you know, we would do, like, I guess, like, we comments, or what's the word, we comments, right? Reckon? No, whatever. When you walk around and you survey the scene, you come yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, I lost Ayana as well. Ayana first came to my crew with her friend, I believe Amanda, and Amanda lost in Dalgona. Mm. And then Madison joined our crew as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you were kind of like a hang around. Like, you know, like, I don't yeah, think you were like I, a huge I, member of the crew, but we liked you. You were there. Yeah. You were like a guest star. I feel, <laughs> I feel like, I, I was just telling you this, but I do yeah. have like commitment issues in yeah, a sense. Yeah. So I have a really bad habit of like when I'm talking to someone, yeah. I'll scan the room to see if there's anyone I would like rather be forming a more strong relationship with. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, that person seems really cool, but I didn't get a chance to talk to them. Yeah. I'll go to them. Yeah. yeah so yeah. no, it's it's actually a really bad habit that I've been trying to break because yeah. like I would I really would like to develop a stronger connection with yeah, people yeah. Um, so that they can get back to me and I can get back to them. You know. Yeah. But. I didn't have that tendency. Well, the thing is, there's no shame in that though, cause especially in that situation. Like, mm. you know, like for me, I would hang out with my crew, I'd talk to them, and then I would go and talk to other people, yeah. and I'd come back. Mm -hmm. So like, I think, you know, like, yeah, that's valid to think yeah. that and to want to do no, that. But I, I do want to say like, having surveyed, not like surveyed, but like, you know, I knew everyone in the room. Yeah. And having hung out with like the little different cliques and stuff, and like they kind of knew me, I always kind of gravitated back towards you guys, especially towards the end, because I'm like, they're just so comfortable to be around, you know? Aww. There were other, <laughs> I mean, it's true. There Thank were you. other groups that I 
would talk to, but a lot of them were just talking about strategy. Yeah. Um, and talking about who did what and what are the newest rumors and like this person is going to be strong for the next game and we should try to talk to them. Yeah. And I do think that I can be strategic, mm. but in that moment, all I wanted was just to kind of around and talk about. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Like anything but the game. Exactly, anything but yeah. the game and kind of keep myself relaxed. Yeah. And so at some point, everything else just started seeming stupid. Yeah, no, I did ask. Yeah. So like, I think for you guys who are watching, you don't you don't know this, but we didn't have clocks, we didn't have phones, obviously. Yeah. But like one day for me and the dorms felt like, I think three it's weeks normal forever. time, three weeks yeah. or a month. So like, you know, you had been forming connections with people and it's been like, you know, for like half a year or something. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah, there's a time and place to be strategic. Like, you know, even our crew, like we would have strategic time and then be like, okay, done. And then we'd go back to just, you know, goofing around and yeah. chilling. Cause like, you can only be strategic for so long. Like, exactly. You can only do that. Doing it for like an entire day and just talking about strategy based off of literally nothing, just yeah. speculation and rumors. Like, of course that's going to psych you out. Of yeah. course that's not going to be good for your mental health. And there are are people who are just like constantly doing that and then i would go over to like nayo and kiara <laughs> and like Haley, and they'd be talking about like what's the food that you want to eat when you get out and i'm like i want to be part of this conversation <laughs> so yeah, yeah it was very it was very comforting nah, dude, i love having you with us and like um like leading into like the, the game like i remember um going into it like based off what happened with Falcona. Yeah. i remember thinking I, and me having my panic attack the day before i remember thinking mm -hmm. i need to have my people with me yeah. on the same team. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And at that point, like, you know, my people was, you know, Madison, Ayana, Haley, Kiara, and myself, mm -hmm. and then also you to a certain extent. But I knew you also had your people as well. But like my top five was like, you know, it was them yeah. making sure we were together. That was like my priority. So like, you know, even thinking it was gonna be true, it, not true to there, that would have been weird. But even <laughs> thinking it was gonna be tug of war, like I remember we got there and I saw the eight lines. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this is it, mate. So like when Joe offered for us to join his team, I remember thinking, I'm not leaving my people. Yeah. Like someone else offered me to join their line. And I was like, no, <laughs> like, yeah. no. I was like, no, like yeah. this, I, we all have to come. Like those five of us, we gotta come. You know who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, know. And I was like, I'm not leaving yeah. my people. And I was very happy to see you and my crew, but I was surprised that you went with your with one of your friends that seen you with. I think uh, I might've said this to you too, yeah. but like, I was so convinced that there were so many twists and turns yeah. that the teams that we chose were not going to be the teams that we actually played with. Yeah, yeah. That they were gonna like switch up the group somehow. And so I was like, it's all up to fate. Mm -hmm. I might as well just pick a random one. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's why I didn't give it too much thought. And yeah. a lot of my other friends like ended up in other teams, for example. Yeah. But at the same time, like I wanted to be in a place where I was still with some people that I knew. Yeah. So I think I saw you guys, and I'm like, that's a, that's a good place to be. Well, I, yeah. honestly, a lot. That means a lot, because like I was quite happy with the way things played out, mm -hmm. and like I was happy to be eliminated with you as well. Like, although I do think like. Because I didn't know, for example, the other people yeah. in the team, like Joe and uh, yeah. everyone else. And they're like, they're kind of like, because <laughs> they were all, I had no idea, but they were all like a super tight group. You they're know? still super tight. Really, really Facebook tight. Facebook chat is popping. They were like, we were all part of the, yeah. the group from day one. Yeah. We would always have our, and then they'd be like, oh yeah, and you, Hannah. <laughs> it's nice to meet you too. So I felt a little bit like I was intruding, but... Nah, but you with me, so it was cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like, speaking of Joe, like, you know, Joe's a good guy, and I remember like talking to Joe, and it felt like, like, it felt like The Walking Dead, like two factors merged together. Yeah, yeah. And like, we still thought it was gonna be tug of war. So we were saying like, you know, one of our advantages is that, you know, we all chose to be together. Yeah. And we're not a team of circumstance or happenstance. Like we specifically chose to join forces. So yeah. we should be good, right? The power of friendship. Yeah, the power of friendship. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, so um, I was in my MIV about before the game talking about that. I was like, yeah, you know, like, cause we had, we had a bunch, you know, we had a lot of women on our team and a bunch of older people. Mm -hmm. So like our team, it was talking war, we did not look like a formidable team. Like people were like, oh, this team, we can take They're like, let, we want to play that team. <laughs> yeah. That team's going down. Yeah, we can take team eight. Let's yeah. take team eight. And like, they're asking about how you feel, whatever. And I was like, um, dude, the power of friendship is going to save us, dude. Like, psh, power of friendship, bro. You can't tell me nothing. Like, we want to be together. 
we had it. We definitely had a chance, even if yeah. it was tug of war. Not that us, we yeah. definitely had a chance. Like, yeah, and like, but the thing is, I knew it was gonna be tug of war. I had a strong inclination because, like, mm. whilst you know the producers were talking about whatever, mm -hmm. one guy was like, well, "What if it's not tug of war?" And I was like, "You're the second person to say that." And then I got into the mid, and the guy was like, "What if it's not tug of war?" Yeah. And I was like, I came back and was like, "It's not tug of war." <laughs> I was like, I don't I know, know what it is, but it's not tug of war. Yeah. Yeah, I was completely convinced it was gonna be tug of war. Yeah, dude. But like. Okay, so like when we got into the game, our game, I don't want to ruin anything, no spoilers, but when you saw that it wasn't Tug of War, like, when you leave, how did you feel? Oh, that's my moves all over again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was definitely really surprised. Mm. And I, I mean, it was a feeling of relief, right? Yeah. Because because we were that team that was like, people thought we were going to lose. Yeah. So it's this sensation of like, we have a fighting chance. Yeah. Like, we can do this. Especially because, like, Madison was so confident in her ability, yeah. and so, like... Yeah, okay. shout-outs to Madison. Madison, we love you. Madison's like, the best. Yeah, you were the best. Like, I think Madison being confident yeah. really helped me out, because, like, bro, I have no idea how to play that game. Mm -mm. And, like, to have someone who was like, I got this, bro. Like, I... Yeah, I know it gets about her being captain for the team. Mm -hmm. Joe being lieutenant, that was cool, too, because he also seemed like he was keen for it, and I was yeah. like, okay. Oh. So, like, I was very happy at that point, just, like, you know, kind of be passive yeah. in the game. So like, yeah, but um, yeah, dude, like I just, I was impressed with the set. Mm. Like I was the whole, I, that, that was the first time I felt like I'm on TV. Yeah, it felt like a very, <laughs> right. That was like, um, cause that felt like a very traditional, like American or like maybe UK yeah. TV show set. Yeah. And so it felt like a whole different situation yeah. where I was like, the cameras are here. Yeah, oh, we like... gotta react. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think going back to like talking about like choosing captain and everything like I, I know the game is one of my yeah. favorite games um and I played it like very recently as well not to the extent that Madison had yeah but like in that moment when they're asking like who's gonna be captain like I did have a thought of like okay I could do the whole like intellectual stereotype thing and yeah. I could become the captain but I made a very conscious decision not to to be captain because mm. I knew that if we lost I had to live with that guilt yeah, yeah, yeah. and I knew that like I could not handle that yeah once again shouts to Madison like you know the way it played out like you know at the end of the day it was kind of like luck and we were on the right track mm. it was just mm -hmm. time was against us it's it's just luck yeah but um, no that ass like um but I don't know I will say though like the process of getting eliminated I was really gutted to see you go no spoilers Oh, I mean, I didn't mention the game. You mentioned the game. Oh. We're going to bleep that out. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, I don't know when this is going to air. But obviously, we didn't win the money. <laughs> so, obviously, we got eliminated. But um, I was... Like, when the light first went down, I think it went down on Kat first. Or whoever. I can't remember who was, who was at the beginning of the build. I think Kat was in the middle. Kat was... I can't recall. But it went down on the first person. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know her that well. But I was like, oh, yikes. And then it went down on Amanda, mm -hmm. the, the older woman. And I was like, no. <laughs> and, like, you know, she was, like, I think third in line. Yeah. And then it went down on you. I think you looked at me or whatever. Because yeah. I was like, I was crying a little bit. I was I'm crying so again. so dramatic. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, <was> like <laughs> I, I, I cannot believe how dramatic I was being. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it was very much real to us at that time. Because that's mm -hmm. all we had known for the yeah. past, like, forever for us. Yeah. It, it right. was, it wasn't life or death. But it was, it felt like it. Because it's like you're leaving all of your friends behind. Yeah. I was gutted to see that you got eliminated. Mm. And I hate to say this, but then when I, my light went on, I was like, meh. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like right, if I get out, I get to show a hand or whatever. Yeah. And then, you know, it went down the line for my mm -hmm. vote. And obviously, like, you know, things went the way they went. And we ended up getting limited together. Yeah. And, you know, looking back on it now, I'm quite happy. Because in the game, like you said, like, you know, we had, you know, we weren't all always together. But you can't, you would come hang out with us. Yeah. But, like, unexpectedly, or I guess maybe it makes sense now, you and I, I think, have become the closest, at least for me, outside mm -hmm. of the game. Yeah, no, definitely. Like, I definitely, like, you know, shoot, like, share memes with you, like, yeah. shoot the <laughs> you. And I, if it hadn't been that, I don't know what would have happened. That's so, true. like, I am uh, forever grateful to Madison and uh, Joe for allowing us <laughs> to, like, get close together and yeah. bullshit on Instagram. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, there are definitely people who I stay in touch with Again, I was telling yeah. you this, but I think that I feel the most comfortable, um, partially because obviously, like, you live in Tokyo, yeah, but yeah. 
I think beyond that, like we also had a lot of things in common that were unexpected. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, you know, I think for me, like, obviously I watch with heaps of friends, <laughs> but like it's it's you and Kiara right now at this mm -hmm. moment in time that like, you know, I'm like, yeah, like I'm so stoked yeah. that we went out together. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad we weren't assholes like someone on the other team. That's all I'm gonna yeah. say about that. Um, I would have that would have been the only person I would have fought. If I had survived it, I would have found him and I would I would have maybe had to get like an altercation. That would have been like, okay, now you have to leave the show because you punched somebody. I mean, okay, the thing is, I don't know if I told you this, but like mm. I actually had a very long conversation with him before oh, yeah? before going into that. And I didn't know that he was the one saying that, but we just happened to sit next to each other in line i think going into that game mm. and he was telling me all about now people are gonna know who it is yeah. but telling me all about his daughter and how she's introverted and i really like related to that mm. um because i was in that position and so like we were talking about like how that influences him and how he's trying to help her mm. so i think i saw a more human side of him mm. um but everyone, <laughs> yeah, I I wasn't expecting him to act that way, and I was surprised yeah. when you said that that's who it was. Yeah, like um, so at this moment, like you know, I see him posting in the WhatsApp group, and I'm just like, <sighs> like, cause obviously it's all in the past, and like he didn't win the money, so mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. But it's kind of like, bro, dude, like, it reminds me of Forrest. Forrest self eliminated after Dalgona, cause mm -hmm. he had the fortitude to be like, oh, it's gonna get dark from this point forward. Mm -hmm. Like henceforth, it's going to get dark. Yeah. And like. Personally, I would have liked to been in there for at least a couple more days. I wanted to be like a full week yeah. in the dorms and I wanted to lose doing marbles. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, like, having that happen was like, you know, I could see it as like, oh, it's gonna get darker, like, yeah. the more like, the more it dwindles down. Absolutely. And, um, like, I haven't seen this, obviously, we haven't seen the show yet, mm -hmm. but I, I remember Salt, uh, Salty. I remember Haley <laughs> was saying that, um, he had a salty elimination. Mm. So like, you know, I, I think, I always, even though she's my friend, I always think I always think I say her name wrong. It's Hallie, right? Hallie, it's Hallie, yeah, not Haley, Hallie. My pronunciation, yeah. But, um, eyes. yeah, but like, I don't know, how did you feel getting out there, like getting eliminated? Like, how did you feel when it was like, I mean, you're done? I think, I think I had a similar thought process as you of like, it's a good game to be eliminated on. Yeah. Because I very much felt like it wasn't skills based for me. Yeah. Um, it was, it was luck. It really was like I could have chosen a different boat, but like who the f cares? Yeah. And knowing me and knowing how much I criticize myself, mm. like having to live with something like that for the rest of my life, um, I would have thought about only if I had done this. Yeah. And that was very much not the case. So like I'm more thankful than anything to having gone out on that. Like marbles, I think would have also been a good game. Yeah. yeah. But I think I've mentioned this before, but like people always want more, right? Yeah. Like my first thing was, I just want to get past the first game. And then I was, yeah. I was just want to get past the second game. Yep. So I do think that if I was like in the fourth game, I would have been like, well, I just want to go once again. Yeah. yeah. So all in all, I think it was a good time for me, mm. especially being in the mental state that I was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so it was a it was a good time, mm. and yeah, I guess that's kind of my overall like takeaway from it. I kind of want to touch on what you said about going to the next mm -hmm. game because like I came into the show knowing I wasn't going to win the money. Mm. Like, maybe that's pessimistic or whatever. Yeah. Maybe it's not American of me to say that. But I was like, there's no way we're going to win the money. Same. Yeah. But like, I want. I remember I just wanted to have a good death. That was my yeah. whole plan. Like I was gonna self-sacrifice for Kiata probably in right. marbles. Mm -hmm. But I was like, at some point there's gonna be heights. And I'm afraid of heights. So mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> let me just get on get on up out of here in a cool way. But um, pardon me. I just also on top of that, I just wanted to be in there enough time to be traumatized to the point where I never want to do it again. Oh, like, interesting. A part yeah. of me still kind of wants to go back in the dorms. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit. That would probably fade with time. Yeah. But like if there was like a season two and we could apply, I would apply for it. I wish I already did. But the thing is, like, I don't know if I would go on or not, but I just felt like if I was in there for like a good solid week, mm. a bit more than a week, I would have had my fill of yeah. that experience for the rest of my life. So I'd be like, nah. Because like, mm. Haley told me that when she got out, the producers told her that the longer people were in the game, mm -hmm. the more relieved they were to go. The less mm -hmm. upset they were when they, when they got out. Yeah, yeah. So like for me, I just need that last like 15% mm. to have reached my capacity yeah. for like for the rest of my life. Do you think it's 15%? I was getting tired. Mm. Like I was, I was dead mm. ass getting tired. Like I remember, I was talking to Chad about how I would answer the phone and self-sacrifice myself. Yeah. And they're like, don't let that. Yeah, the phone. yeah, right. So I was getting, 
when I was getting tired of being in there. Mm. But I just needed that extra. I think I had the last date where I did get eliminated. Yeah. That was the day where it reached kind of my fill. Yeah. Yeah. It was because I I was talking to people about like it wouldn't be so bad if I just left right now yeah. Yeah. and like maybe I should leave and go back to my safe space in Princeton and yeah. my dog and yeah humble flex yeah. right there bro she said Princeton oh no <laughs> <laughs> sorry that was not intentional <laughs> whatsoever but yeah just thinking about that constantly and it was getting to the point where like People were in groups. I'm better at talking at people one on one. So yeah. like in a group setting, like there are only so many things that you can talk about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, we, you know, the people, not necessarily like us, but you know, I'd see the same people over and over again. We're talking about the same things over and over exactly. again. Exactly. So, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of done here, mm. and I'm tired of talking about how much I want to leave, and I just kind of want to go home now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude, I totally feel you. Yeah. But let's talk about leaving though, because like. All right, so like, you know, when we got out, we got to the bus, and I think yeah. um, the, the casting person that casted me, so that's with the V, she was like, welcome to the party bus. Like, you can have, like, chips. Did she cast and you? Yeah, she got me on the show, oh, okay, yeah. Okay. She was like, oh, Niall, you lost. And I was like, Aww. yeah. <laughs> but like, because everyone else, I think, from that she cast, I think at that point, they had been already gone. Mm -hmm. She was like, oh, you're still here. Oh, like, oh you lost. <laughs> so like, you know, we got the crisps and the candies and all that. But I remember like, you know, obviously like, trying to console Madison, but also mm -hmm. the same, I think I was talking to myself by saying like, to myself maybe the accent got me by saying like you know at least i was still very vexed with homeboy from the other team yeah and i was like at least we lost with class <laughs> like at least we lost with dignity i must have said that like 17 times i do remember but, like that. i was i was happy to be out mm -hmm. but i was still a bit miffed about the other team like gloating about it but it was just one person apparently That's just natural. Yeah. but like but i was happy to be out the moment anything mm -hmm. i was just like yeah we're out like it's over like it's over yeah. like it's it's done like oh, we can have regular food yeah. what was i thinking about i feel like thank you that's just it's just relief yeah. like pure relief yeah. to just be able to go home and honestly i in the moment, I was crying. Yeah, right? yeah. Like when I got eliminated, I was extremely sad. Yeah. When you guys got eliminated, I was probably a little bit happier. Not happy. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Not happy yeah. that you lost, but like happy that we could share this experience of like talking about it together afterwards yeah. and kind of going through that like therapy type process. Yeah. So that was definitely like a a, a plus for me. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember, this is kind of dark, but I remember thinking, oh, this must be what death is like. Like, you know, like the cold release of death, like, you mm -hmm. know, the sweet, like the warm embrace. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah. From death. Because the whole time you're like, I don't want to get limited, don't want to get limited, yeah, don't want to get limited. Yeah. And you get limited, eh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, it's, it's relieving. Yeah. But I remember, um, like, like you don't even re realize how much pressure you're, you're under until it's gone. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, like, I'm not afraid to die now because it's really <laughs> <laughs> it's just terrible. But I think, like, uh -huh. that's a prerequisite, though. You have to be not afraid of death to be on the show. Mm -hmm. Like, the actual real-life squid game. But, um, I think another thing, though, is, like, getting back to the hotel and just seeing how many main characters had also yeah, like, been eliminated. Right. Yeah. It makes you feel so much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like... That was, for me, that was the most surprising thing. Like, mm -hmm. I know people were trying to say it's rigged and stuff. It was not rigged. Yeah. Like, they, if they rigged it, they didn't rig it in the correct way. Yeah. Because, like, I think there were two parties going on. I know I had, I tried to have, like, a like a nice chill session in mm -hmm. my room. Because I wanted to have, like, a pizza party and chill with you, like, you guys, whatever. Yeah. And there was a, another one going on. And, like, you know. It was, like, all the main characters. Like, all the main characters. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know. It all, like my room kind of like swelled up to more people or whatever, which mm -hmm. is fine because like it was you know people needed that space to be in, yeah. And I wanted to provide that, but like you know I don't know like I was just happy I lost with like you know the group that we lost with, yeah. like it was fun like you know we went to uh, Seven Dials Market, mm -hmm. we went to we had a little my friend gave us a little private tour of London, yeah. like we had a lot of good times post game. Mm -hmm. And I think that if we get lost with fewer people or a different group of people, mm. we might not have been able to have like specifically like the, the nighttime yeah. <laughs> like excursion. It was, it was, I was all, we were all so like so tired, yeah. I think just like our bodies exhausted. 
we're drinking, which we probably should not have been doing, <laughs> but it, it was definitely fun. Um, oh man, I lost my train of thought again. It was fun. You said, you're talking about drinking and going out. Yeah, drinking and going out. It was definitely fun. And it was definitely nice to have that last hurrah yeah. with people, especially because there were so many like main cast members there mm. but then i also talked to people that i never talked to before yeah yeah it was like a chance to like you know try to make some yeah. connections you couldn't make exactly it's like oh i didn't know you but like you seem like a really cool person yeah, yeah, and yeah. like there are people who are like oh i live in france if you ever want to come to france just <laughs> crash on my couch i'm like we just met yeah. that's awesome yeah yeah it's, it's hard to have that kind of connection in the real world it's like we're in like you know a, a sorority fraternity now, like the Squid Game. Yeah, I know. Like, you know, truly Squid Game connection. Yeah. Because like this is a chance to have. Well, it was an ex a chance to have experience mm -hmm. that you can't fabricate. Like, yeah. You can't. You can. You know, maybe people could like pay to be a part of like a Squid Game camp experience or something. Mm -mm -mm. But you can't like remake this. Like you can't reproduce this and the way that happened to us authentically yes. and organically. Yes. Doesn't matter if you lost about like green light, if you lost Algona, if you lost later on. Like, I mean, it's unique to us, I feel. I do think that it's the concept of hazing, right? I, yeah. It's literally just hazing. Yeah. So, you know, you have that bond with people. And I've always said that I've wanted to be hazed. Like, I've never been hazed before. Yeah. And, like, being part of whatever organization, I was like, oh, only if we got hazed, we'd be so much tighter. <laughs> and then my wish came true. So... Yeah, we got hazed. We did get... We got... Yeah. yeah. Hella haze. So, <laughs> Your squid game the challenge. Hella haze. Hella haze. <laughs> so, like, I'm incredibly thankful, mm. but would I do it again? I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, it depends. Like, if everyone that we were cool with would sign up and go for it again, mm -hmm. I would do it as a chance to see everyone again. Yeah, but then, like, yeah. It just could be like we opening up. We could just do a reunion. New... Though. We don't yeah. have to go through everything again. Because like, I don't want to create new trauma. Yeah. 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 Or like people who were tight the first time around mm -hmm. end up betraying each other the second time around. Mm -hmm. And like, that's a whole like a Pandora's box. I want to leave closed. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. But like, okay. So for me, I know coming back to regular life, mm -hmm. it took a bit of time. Like, you know, obviously I had to come back to Japan and then jet lag. And mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. I didn't go back to work for like a week and a half just yeah. because like, I was so addicted to this thing right here of the updates and everything like I just oh. I couldn't focus on my regular life until I knew that the games were over yeah so I guess just for context like we had a we still have a like a whatsapp group chat with like yeah. most of the people mm -hmm. that like passed red light green light mm -hmm. and there were like constant updates about like this person's out now this person's out now this is the next game the yeah. game tomorrow is this and so there's just like a lot of speculation, a lot of rumors, and because you had been in the dorms for so long, like you were hyper focused on what was happening because your mind's still there. Yeah. So, and then you didn't want to get left behind either. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because people were doing all sorts of things. They're like, we're gonna all make a video together, or let's let's do this one thing. Let's make patches, right? Yeah. So you would wake mm. up to you would wake up to like hundreds of messages overnight so many messages and it felt like our duty to keep up with all of that yeah um so at this point like it's it's definitely didn't dwindle down mm. but it people still talk on there i um, think it's great you know no it's great yeah. it's great but it may it did maybe a little bit hard to like move on yeah no i totally agree i had to like i actually took myself out of the groups at one point yeah yeah because like i just for me the problem was I, mean, I want to clarify, the people who were updating the groups, they were out. No one in the game had their phones. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah People who right. got eliminated. And, um, but anyways, like, there was a point where the first week, I was like, oh, I was just on there just so I could see what's going on. Yeah. And then I accepted being eliminated. Mm -hmm. But then, like, it was like, I think two and a half weeks on, I had, like, really bad FOMO. Mm -hmm. Like, really bad FOMO. Yeah. Like, I was, I think when it started getting, like, the, like, the top dozen mm -hmm. and under, I was like, dude, I wish I was there. Mm -hmm. Like, I just... Want, not about the money, I just wanted to have that it, experience. It was literally, like, I think past the first game, it just wasn't about the money anymore. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, dude. Like, I was just so jealous that, like, the top 20 and top dozen mm. got to experience being in the dorm mm -hmm. with that few people. Yeah. Like, they had this new trauma that I wanted. Like, I wanted to be traumatized <laughs> like that. Yeah. I was like, I, I had this FOMO of trauma. Yeah. yeah. So I had to take myself out of the groups. I was like, this is too much for me, bro. Like, I got to... I got to show because like it was after the games. No, it was after the games were over, mm. and like you know all the people who had 
who were like, you know, been like the top whatever, they were talking about their experience. Mm -hmm. And I was so jelly. I was so jelly. Really? Yeah, dude, that's why I took myself out because I don't like feeling jealous or FOMO if I can help it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And like, it doesn't serve me, you know, like yeah. it's over, it's done. And I was like sliding into like, like teenage FOMO. So, teenage FOMO? Yeah, I was like, I gotta get out of, I got out of sight, out of mind. I think I had, well, I think I did have a little bit of FOMO. A little bit. But I, I just know that I wouldn't have made it past like the last game yeah. or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, plus, I don't think that I would have done well with getting that much attention slash mm -hmm. fame. Yeah. Um, don't watch this video then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think it's, it's hard to describe, but it's just never something that I wanted. Yeah. Like, I went in more for the experience and, like, to be able to say that I've done it rather than to become famous. But that's just personally, like, what I want out of life. But I agree with that. I think that, to be honest with you, I think that a lot of us who made it, you know, past, I hate to keep coming back to Red Light Green, like, yeah. a lot of us who made it past that game, mm -hmm. and especially the ones who, like, we know that made it to, like, the top forever. Yeah. A lot of them didn't have that drive to gain notoriety from it. A lot of them didn't have that drive to be famous from it. Like, all the ones who wanted to be famous, they they were out. They mm -hmm. lost in the first couple of games. Like I think, you know, ironically perhaps, the people who were there for the experience were able to be level headed. And obviously it was a lot of luck. Some of the later games was like luck as yeah. well. But they were able to be level headed and just play the game because it was part of the experience. Yeah. So I like agree with that as well. Experience moment to moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, like you know, like obviously as a musician I would like to have an audience. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't go on, I didn't even want to go on Squid Game. Like, I did not go on it, like you said, for like, the fame or any money. I just wanted to be like, yo, like, I always wanted to know what it was like to be on a reality TV show. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now I know. Yeah, that, it that's it, honestly. <laughs> that's the, that's the reason why I think we went on it. Yeah. Well, um, do you want to say anything to anyone who would like to, like, be on Squid Game if they do more season or whatever? Like, any advice from Senpai Hana? <laughs> or Hana Senpai? Um, Game advice? Let's see. I think get on the wellness stuff's good side. Oh, yeah. That would be good. Um, there are people that the wellness staff they maybe favored health yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that they were like giving you extra food or anything like that, but like, you know, having time outside, yeah. for example, or like they might be more likely to pull you for MIVs if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, when they're screaming at you to shut up and not talk to people off screen, like shut up and just talk to them, you know, get to know them because honestly, they probably got the most shit. Like no yeah. one talks about the wellness team, but like there's a group of people where their job is to support you. Yeah. And they're constantly getting probably negative feedback and lots of complaints about like how hungry they are, how cold they are yeah. and like lots of demands. Um, and they were there 24 7 to put up with us. They had gnarly shifts too, like 15 hour shifts or whatever. Yeah. And like, I don't know if you guys, if you guys watch episodes, you might not be able to see it, but they had on grid game, jump, like tracksuits, but they didn't have numbers. Mm -hmm. So they could blend into the back. And they were always in the dorms with they us, always, always around. with us. Yeah. So, I mean, shout out to them because yeah. like their job was like really just customer service. Yeah. And they had no control over production, right? Not at all. So. Not at all. Like we, I think a lot of people treated them like they production, were production but they weren't. and being like, you guys should do this. You guys should do this instead. And they just have to be there and not and be like, okay, yeah, we yeah. understand. <laughs> and just like, listen. So shout out to the wellness team yeah. for being just like stellar. Yeah, being rock stars. Yeah. Like I think the advice I would give someone kind of relates to that too, is um, one, pretend you need glasses. So when you pretend you need glasses and pretend you wear contacts. Mm -mm -mm. So when you go on the game, you can put Vaseline in the contact case. Oh, so, yeah, I should, have, I should have done that. And then also eat less food the week before you go. Like mm -hmm. gradually like reduce your calorie intake so you can be somewhat used oh, to it by the time you get there. such good tips. But the thing is like your tip is very much insightful and mm -hmm. very, I thought your tip had been mine. My tips really? are just like, <laughs> do this and that and you'll be alright. But no, your tip is like true, very like very much like very like mindful and yeah, be respect the wellness staff because mm -hmm. like, you know, obviously they, if you could curry favor with them you could get more airtime if that's what you want. But also like it'll make your stay that much more enjoyable. Wait, I have two more tips. Yeah, go for it. Sorry, now I'm thinking about it. So I got these stupid eyelash extensions and they were yeah. bothering me the entire time because <laughs> they were so disgusting and like you need to care for your lash extensions properly. Mm. It was my first time getting it, so I didn't fully take that into mind. Um, and it was not fun. 
So don't do that. There are a lot of people who got lash extensions because we we're not allowed to wear makeup. Mm. Um, and just don't do it, you know? <laughs> if you don't, if you can't go on without makeup, just don't do the show. <laughs> and I think my second tip is I heard people talking about like putting things in their like bra oh, when you're yeah, going yeah. in. Um, so that could be, that could be a good thing to have too. Like get some Vaseline or something like yep, that, however. Just, just Vaseline. Yeah, okay. That's what I mean. yeah. It got so bad, they gave us condoms because they thought we were going to be like hooking up. We were all using the condoms as like, you know, lip. don't do that. That's my other tip. Don't use condoms for like lip balm. It's yeah. not going to end well for you or hair conditioner. The the egg oil worked better for me. <laughs> See, I should have hung out with you more. I should have hung out with you more. Egg oil like, on your lips. That's what you need. <sighs> all right, last thing before I end the video. Um, I guess what were one of your favorite moments or something? Because like oh. for me, I think one of my favorite moments I still remember is um, the day before, the day we got eliminated before mm -hmm. tug of war, and we were speaking in Japanese, and they kept telling us not to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like, guys, please don't discuss the game. Yeah. And we're like, no, no, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, what are you guys saying? Oh, no, we're talking about like, like, like food, life whatever. Life outside. Yeah, life outside. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was, I, I loved that part. That was really cute. That was really cute. Um, yeah, I think that was it. Oh, that was so hard. I mean, talking to Perna though, like mm. we did have some like really, really great moments that are very heartwarming. Yeah. And, you know, I think I had a lot of similar moments with people where I was able to have conversations and like have those types of, the only word I can describe it is like, intimate and like homey yeah 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 like, bonding, like, a, like a touching yeah. oh, that's a word bad word sounds you terrible should, you should bonding. cut that you should cut that <laughs> what's what's the word i'm thinking of like heartwarming yeah heartwarming yeah heartwarming like touching, yeah, yeah yeah so there are a lot of moments that i had with people that i would not have had in my day-to-day -day life as an adult 100 um just because like even even though we were like really good friends like you you just never get the chance to have those moments with people unless you're like blackout drunk right but yeah. we're all super sober yeah and coming to the realization that you can still have those moments with people in the absence of like substances mm -hmm. is something that i think we should take into our everyday life more your answers are so good. No. Yeah, that's that's we're gonna end it on that. That was a okay. word. Yeah, that was great. The power of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes back to oh that. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, if you guys like this video, um, give us a thumbs up or a like or comment, whatever. Um, how would you go in the game? Or like, what do you think would have been the hardest part for you mm -hmm. in the game? Um, please write down below. Yeah, we'll have Hannah's links and stuff for mm -hmm. our podcast. Everything will be down below. Um, I'll have links for my music projects if you're keen. They'll be down below as well. And thank you for watching. Yeah, this is great for <laughs> us. Like, me, yeah. No, I mean, but thank you for watching and thank you for sharing. Like, yeah, this course. was therapeutic. Thank you for having me. Yeah. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, and anyone who knows me personally, um, I'm not going to talk about Squid Game ever again. So if you need to know, oh. watch this video. I'm kidding. You just have to keep looking back at <laughs> this video. Yeah, especially if you forget in the future. Yeah. Be like, oh, we're going. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs> and thank you for doing this. Thank you. Absolutely. Bye bye.